So, look into the next one. A registered supplier of taxable goods, supplied goods worth rupees 2,24,000 inclusive of GST to Mohan Limited under forward charge on 15th August for which tax invoice was also issued on the same date. The inputs were received by Mohan Limited on 15th August. Mohan Limited availed the credit of 24,000 on 20th September by filing 3B for August month. However, Mohan Limited did not make the payment towards its supply along with tax thereon. So, is Mohan eligible to take ITC? Already we saw one question. First question, yes, they can take ITC. And if the payment is not made within 180 days, so then whatever is ITC availed will be reversed along with interest. Discuss ITC provision if Mohan Limited makes payment of 2,24,000 to the supplier on 18th March of next calendar year. When the goods are sent, uh, so invoice date you see. So invoice date is 15th August. 15th August. 15th August plus 180 days from the date of invoice. 15th August plus 180 days. So in August, you take 31 minus 15, 16 days in August. Then September, October, November, December, January. So this itself is like 5 threes are 50. So 153 plus 6, 159 plus 10, 169 days. So what is 180 days? 180 days, the balancing figure will be the balancing figure for 189 days, 180 days will be 11 days. So 11th of what? So this is August, September, October, November, December, Jan. So Feb, 11th Feb, 11th Feb is 180 days. So here 18th March. So therefore it is not given within 180 days. So therefore, in the month of February, so much of the ITC avail needs to be reversed along with interest. Okay. So for the month of February, when we will file 3P in the month of March. So February month 3P in the March, when we file, we need to reverse the ITC. That is this. Same as first question. Okay.